Well, hello everyone. Uh, this is Byron King with Investor Intel. We are coming to you from Toronto, Ontario, and the PDAC conference, the Prospector Developers Association of Canada annual conference. Uh, I am with Raymond Ashley of F3 Uranium, F as in Fox 3 uh, Uranium. Hello, Raymond, it's great to be with you. Uh, just tell people out, what is F3 Uranium? Tell us about it. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Byron. Uh, F3 Uranium, well, it's like Windows 10. This is Fission 3, it's the third Fission company. Uh, Dev Randall is our CEO, and he started Strathmore, and eventually uh, sold that and started Fission Energy, which was the first Fission. And Fission Energy made a discovery in 2010 of a uranium deposit called the J-Zone in the eastern Athabasca Basin. And that uh, deposit and that company was actually sold to Denison in 2012. And that year we kept one property in the western Athabasca. At that time, Fission Energy also had uranium exploration properties which went with the sale to Denison. And in 2012, we made a discovery of uh, the Triple R Uranium deposit, and that was the second Fission company called Fission Uranium Corp. Triple R is legendary, yes. And, yeah. that, and, and which brings us to the third F3. fission. Oh so, so Triple R has done a PA. I was there since that discovery and did the PA two pre-feasibility studies. Just completed this year the feasibility study. And but but when that discovery was made, fission uranium had exploration properties, and those were separated from the asset, which was the Triple R deposit, into the third fission, which now we've renamed to just simplify the name to F3. So F3 has 16 exploration properties in the Athabasca Basin. Mm -hmm. We had a really big year in 2022. Dev was able to raise, we spent 12.3 million in flow through. Okay. Actually, there was also a joint venture where Traction uh, funded some exploration on two of the properties. And at the end of 2022, we made uh, uh, the Athabasca Basin's newest high grade uranium discovery. Um, a beautiful discovery hole on what we now call the JR zone on a property called the PLN property that is 25 roughly kilometers to the northwest of, uh, of Triple R and Arrow. So it's right in the heart of the, where the development will be. Absolutely, well, give, give a brief rundown of this new discovery. What, 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 what is so exciting about it? Well, okay. Um, well, the main thing that's so exciting about it is that it was a wide intersection a, a beautiful high grade intersection of with a, okay so it was when 15 high, meters when you say high grade what are we talking about oh. uh, what, what, a, what mineralogy or what, what well okay we're talking there was a the first discovery hole it intersected mineralization about 225 meters below the surface so it's shallow the mineralization is in a, a shear zone uh, uh, a, a, like a fault that's alter, with alteration that's about 30 meters wide and we intersected 15 meters, so wide mineralization of 7% uranium. And in the middle of that, there was five and a half meters of 18 and a half percent with a high grade core of actually uh, a meter of 59% uranium. So what it is, is a wide mineral, <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's shallow, it's a wide mineralized zone and it's got a high grade core. So, you know, that was the first hole. The first hole. You mean there's more? Well, there you go. So that was in November, right? And, and at the end of that program, we drilled four more holes to follow that up and managed on, on section lines 15 meters apart. And so we did manage to grow it a little. And then we went ahead and did a financing for the winter program. And it's an $8 million winter program, which started at the beginning of January. And we're t we've press released 12 of the 20 holes. And yeah, it's been a very successful winter program. We've managed to follow the high grade core and the mineralization, and that's the idea, is to establish, we know it's there, we know it's wide, we know it's shallow, we know there's a high grade core. The question now is how big is it? And that's, the, and that's what people will, will be looking at in the next 12 to 18 months, let's say. Is that, is that the program? That's it. So we, you know, eight, 12 of 20 holes have been released. We've grown it so far to uh, 75 meters in, in length along the structure, this shear zone. 
and it's it's up and down dip. So far, we've defined it with a an up and down width, like east west width of 45 meters. So the mineralization we're following the high grade core, and that's the the idea is to establish the size. And so we've now heading towards the south, and there's a lot of potential there because. That conductor, which is that shear zone, we started drilling there in 2014 and saw all the right signs for uh, hydrothermal fluids that, accompany, that bring in high-grade uranium deposits. So we went back. 2019, we drilled again. We also had a sniff of uranium in 2014. But, you know, it's a, a real sniff. But all the right signs were there to bring us back again in 2022. We stepped out to the north. We saw that by reviewing everything that things improved to the north because we'd started on a three and a half kilometer long structure. We started drilling in 2014 from the south and we realized it was improving towards the north. So that's why we stepped northward and the discovery is at the north end of this conductor and now we're stepping backwards and really it's open at least at 730 meters. Potentially, like I don't know how big it is. That's what we're trying to establish but it's it's open and it's, uh, we're, we've been able to follow it so far. Well, that, and that's, that's the key, isn't it, for the shareholders out there, for the people who might want to be shareholders. This is an exploration story. You know, there's the old saying, you're only as good as your next drill hole, but you seem to be finding the, the right, pot, right spots to put those drill holes. And so looking, looking ahead. So F3 uh, uranium. Where would you? Where are you trading? What? Uh, what TSXV. TSXV, and or do you have OT, OTC yeah, down in the USA? Yeah, we do. Okay, so uh, TSXV and OTC in the U.S. Uh, for for shareholders, uh, F3 uranium and Raymond Ashley. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, Mary.